There's been a huge new update in the Black Ops 6 teaser campaign within Warzone. You can now access Bunker 7, which has been sealed since the bunkers first started up opening, and there's some secrets inside, as well as new lore and the chance to unlock a new calling card. I'll explain how to do everything in this video. As always, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. So first of all, you need to fly to Bunker 7. It's on the northern part of the central island. You'll see on the wall there's some new graffiti that says I will die with her in my hand, referring to the Sally pistols. Behind you there's a keypad. Now you can enter it and it needs a five digit code. Stop the video now if you want to try and work it out for yourself. But for everybody else, the code is 72559. It's Sally if you were going to write it on an old phone keypad, like in 1991 when all of this stuff is meant to be happening. That will open up the bunker door and then you can go inside and there's not much in there right now. There's a computer in the middle of the room and then there's three doors around the edge. There is also the Sally pistols if you haven't found them randomly elsewhere in the game because you need them to complete the first challenge. You have to get a kill with them. The doors don't seem to do anything at this point. You can interact with the computer and that will unlock the third challenge from the secret Black Ops 6 challenges. It looks a little bit like the second one is maybe bugged right now. I think you're just meant to interact with the intel, like the stuff that's at all off military base or in Bunker 10 or in Shahin Manor. I'm guessing that was meant to unlock it, but it doesn't work for whatever reason. But when you interact with the computer, it will start chucking out a load of different information on there. It seems to be brand new lore talking about characters that we don't know. It says input the Pantheon. We don't really know what that is, so that's kind of interesting. Then it says SAD Deputy Director Livingstone. That seems to be the person who was maybe trying to accuse Adler of being a mole. Mole, Infiltration, Russell Adler, Iraq, Ministry of Defense, and then Saeed Alawi. And then it says it's erasing all data and it comes up saying the truth lies. Now we don't know who Saeed Alawi is. It doesn't show up anyone on Google, but there is someone called Ayad Alawi, who's an Iraqi politician. Um, he became vice president of Iraq in 2014, and previously he was the prime minister of Iraq. He was definitely involved in the Gulf War. Supposedly he was favored by the CIA. So I can imagine that this is meant to be like a fictional character, kind of based on the real guy Ayad Alawi. Now, I have looked around the rest of the map a little bit, went to Bunker 5, interacted with some of the intel again. I can't see anything else that's changed. If you've spotted anything else that's different, please let me know in the comments below. And obviously subscribe and turn your notifications on. I'll keep you updated if anything else changes. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye.